Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a pickup video and I will talk a little bit about the speculations in pickup video. What's kind of new is a uh, flea market. I got this for $125 and we'll go through the entire box, which will be a longer video for Friday, but I did pick up stuff for modern, I guess I call it eternal now. Let's say eternal, standard, and the cube as well as ed8s so we can go ahead and do standard first because it's the least exciting of all formats and nahiri i guess you could say this was the big standard pickup but i did put her into the cube and i it was 65 dollars. it was very expensive but i don't think it's getting any cheaper uh so i got a pack of this just because full arts, I always try to get a pack of Storm Chaser Maids. I believe I have just two of them, actually. Uh, Goblin Dark Dwellers. I got a playset of Part the Water Veil. Uh, this card has recently gone up in price. I like it, and I don't think its price is going to get any cheaper. Anytime you can have an effect that is not Temporal, temporal Trespass, which costs like 9 And it has Delve, but it's still really hard to use. Uh, part the Water Veil is extremely good for ED8s, and I do expect it to hold and retain its value. So actually, I gave away, I think on my Patreon, my foil copy and my promo copy. So I had to pick up another playset of them, because I definitely do feel like if a control deck does come into standard, this will be one of the cards that it wants to play. One Melissa Captain, not positive why I picked it up. Kind of hoping for a Philia deck coming soon. And then the speculation I guess we'll talk about is Kostalax Return. This card has epically fallen from grace. Price-wise, it was kind of like a Narset price spike and then decline. I still like it because it's mass removal in red at instant speed. So instant speed mass removal is difficult to come across. And it does have, I feel like people are overvalued. I've never even valued the second ability that if you play a, a Drawzy creature spell, you can, or mana cost seven or greater, then you can play from your graveyard and it does five damage and stuff. I always felt that was the weakest of all abilities because it's not, to me personally, it was not a great ability. But when I looked at it, it is a devoid, it is not color, so it can hit things with protection from colors, which is relevant uh, for, what's that, Auric Champion? I think it's relevant, um, it's, that's the upside that I look at, but it is two damage all creatures at instant speed. You don't see that very often, and I do feel like it is one of the better board wipers. Uh, it, it catches Dark Confidant, it catches any Birds of Paradise, it catches um, Ooze on the turn it comes out, it's just a very good reaction card and I like it a ton. So actually I have a play set and this would make 10 of them. So Kozak's return is extremely low price right now. I believe it's under $8 or like $6 or something. Maybe even $5 at the time of this recording, it's probably around $5. So I definitely love that card. I will talk a little bit about why I purchased it for $65. So this is the promo one. Uh, TCG mids, I think TCG low was 55, but that was like slightly damaged, and then mids was around 62. Uh, I wanted to get this card because I wanted to play the card and I wanted to have it in my cube slash EDH slash standard uh, slash modern. So there's so many uses that I could have for a foil card that for me, biting the bullet right now and being able to play it uh, was far better than not doing that. Anyway. Bye, guys.